Okay. <clears throat> Let's talk about the elephant in the room. The PS5 Pro chat developer verdict. Okay. This is coming right from the horse's mouth. And they say, I didn't meet a single person that understood the point of it. Right? What is the point of it? I own the thing. It is $600 Canadian. Canadian. There's no games. But I need a pro? Chat. Would you buy a PS5 Pro if it was substantial update? Like, I'm talking it was $1,000 Canadian, okay? Like, would you do that? Like, where's the sweet spot? Like, what is a pro? To me, it's like, if it's just, because it's just an overclocked CPU, this thing. So what is the point of me getting it? Like, I feel like if you really want to do that, you beef up this puppy, you, you make it in, like, aluminum, right? You give it some customizable lights. Like, you do some premium stuff that would happen with any other premium tech product, premium car, premium anything. But the console manufacturers are like, here's the pro version. Uh, it's in white now. It's in black now. And we went into the CPU and we just, we overclocked it just a smidge. Right? Is that, what? Ah, ah. X Bacon Gaming says, just buy a PC. I mean, like, that's the thing, right? I've, okay, okay. Back it up, back it up, okay? Push it back, we're back in. Relax, Goose. Okay, you're unhinged today. Here's the thing, chat. If the PS5 Pro is a marginal bump for an extra $600, why? <laughs> Don't look at me, Ryan Gosling. Why would you not just get a PC? Why? If you, if you care about the extra bump, because here's the PS5 Pro is saying, Guys, this is for the ultimate gaming experience that's better than the base PS5. Why not just go all the way? If that's the person you're trying to capture, why not just go all the way and have that person get a P? Wouldn't they do that? I can't, I just don't understand. And Yosef Beat says in the chat, Tugger Nuts agrees with the PC. Yosef Beat says PS5 is already great. I agree. I feel like they haven't even maximized the potential of that thing. They already have a slim. And now they're doing a pro and there's still no game that I'm just like, you know, Ratchet came out and I was like, whoa, we're get like, you know, that first demo with Ratchet, he's coming through the portal. And it's just like they got that SSD, like bam, 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 bam. I love it, especially coming from the Xbox One and PS4 era where like everything was just like, oh, look, I went into a new location. Better pull out my phone and browse like uh, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram for like 20 minutes until we load the next spot because it takes forever. <clears throat> Sam G. Bogner, Punch Exploder, Don't Stop Achieving. Okay, what do we got here? W what am I buying it for? What, what, get uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even though that's not true, I feel like PS5 just can't, yeah. PS5 Pro at least had 4K re resolution as an upgrade. Yeah, at least I had something. But also, none of these games are even supporting 4K properly. They're, they're, ba they're basically faking it. They're just like, yeah, we, <laughs> We can't do the old 4K thing. <laughs> no, 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 no. We can't do it. We can't do it. Um, it's, you know, I don't know who this is for. I've never played a game that has really troubled the PS5. Right? Ratchet and Clank, favorite series. Ratchet and Clank is such a beautiful game. Such a beautiful game. I hope they make another. Guys, I want a Jack and Daxter. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I want more platformers. You know, because it doesn't, it, okay. I want more platform errs, <laughs> comma. I want more brightly colored, beautiful, fun to be in worlds. You know, when you played Banjo-Kazooie, okay? Say what you will about the gameplay. Say what you will. Donkey Kong 64, Mario 64. They were wonderful worlds that you, when, when you were in there, you were like, oh, oh, that's, oh, that's nice. Oh, the sun is warm. You know when you went in like Halo Blood Gulch for the first time? The, the bright blue skies, the nice bright orange canyons, the bright green and luscious grass. Chat! <laughs> right? 
Like, what's going on? So, anyways, you know you're in a you're in a pickle. You're in, oh yeah, Rip Rooster Teeth. What what is the thing that they say? I forget. Uh, what's the first line? Ah, oh, the only reason we're over here is to fight. I, I I'm messing it up, but you know what I mean. Do you think we're alone? Ah, oh, I forget what it was. Yes. Do you ever wonder why we're here? This is why, okay? I want you guys to know. Camera guy, back to me. This is why the Goslings are the number one source of power in the world. The Goslings, number one. Back. Camera guy, you're on fire today. Don't stop. Don't stop. Did you get Ryan Gosling on the phone? We'll keep trying. We're, he's on the screen. Like we're, he's, a, he's a part of the show. My goodness. Okay. Um, let's get into this. Because this is just really bad. Uh, according to reports from a game developers conference in San Francisco last week, there were two main topics of conversation. Rapidly decreasing hardware sales for the Xbox. And we're going to talk about that. Because I got some thoughts on that. And bewilderment as to why Sony is pushing ahead with the plans for the PS5 Pro. Shortly after returning from GDC... Christopher Adring appeared in a podcast in which he claimed that when speaking to developers, they said, I'll be honest, I didn't meet a single per Oh, that was him. I'd be honest, <laughs> I didn't meet a single person that understood the point of it. Developers didn't seem to feel they needed it. He said, they were, weren't really making the most of the PS5 in the first place. That's pretty much exactly what most gamers have said. Yeah. And here's the thing, chat, because Sony, Sony... They're in a weird spot. They've had a change of management at the top, and you probably already forgot about it, but you remember the PlayStation VR 2? I'm hearing crickets. Crickets. You know, the, the VR system that you could only play on a PlayStation that was barely supported and cost... How much did it cost? PSVR 2 buy. What? That can't be right. Is it actually that expensive? That cannot be right. No way. It. Chat, I'm scared. That can't be right. Is it actually $750 Canadian? Chat. Is it actually? I, have I just been? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I'm having an aneurysm here. <laughs> You're telling me. This thing right here is $750 Canadian, and then I got to get a PlayStation 5 for another $600? What's going on over there, chat? What's going on over there? I don't know a single person who's owned it. I'll be honest. I don't know a single person who's ever owned it. And quite frankly, I'm too afraid to ask. I bet you Ryan Gosling owns it. You know? Him and Eva Mendez. Beautiful family. They finished their long day at work after shooting, hopefully, Drive 2. Okay? And then they put on the old PSVR 2. They play it. It's a family thing. It's very beautiful. They play Horizon, Call of the Mountain. I think that's the name. <laughs> yeah, like, <clears throat> X Bacon Gaming in the chat says PC. X Bacon Gaming, <laughs> they need to give you, like, a PC jacket. You need to start getting commission on every NVIDIA sale, <laughs> every case, every Intel CPU. <laughs> like, X Bacon needs the commission. Okay, he's repping it. But, like, you know, at $1,300 Canadian, I'm not saying you're going to get the best PC. Especially with Sony moving their stuff over to Steam like two years later, which is like, you know, I think that's a good strategy. 
But I, I'm not understanding the point here. So PSVR, uh, I didn't know it was that expensive. That's insane to me. I had no idea it was that expensive. I knew it was going to cost a decent amount. But more than the console? And you need the console? And it's wired? Yeesh. Yeesh. That's not great, chat. That's not great. 